Topless in Carbo, flirty in France, and iced out by Angie? Leave the drama in the dust. We may be looking at the future Brunez. Here's the scoop on this saucy new romance. For someone who likes to link up with the stars, Inez de Ramon keeps her personal life surprisingly low profile. Although she has amassed over 100,000 followers on Instagram, her account remains private, and a lot of what we know about her is from LinkedIn. De Ramon has been the VP of the luxury celeb favorite jewelry brand, Anita Co, since January 2020. Before that, she worked retail for the jeweler, De Grisogano, and she hustled at Christie's before that. She reportedly received her education from the University of Geneva in Switzerland, earning a Bachelor of Business Administration in 2013. De Ramon also appears to be passionate about health and nutrition. She became a certified integrative nutrition health coach in 2019, and before her reported romance with Brad Pitt, she was married to the Vampire Diaries star Paul Wesley. According to Us Weekly, the two separated in 2022 and officially filed for divorce in February 2023. I reset, I recalibrated, kind of like re realized what was important to me. While Pitt is regarded as one of the most popular and highly paid actors of our time, his heavily publicized divorces have garnered him almost as much attention as his movies. With his 2005 divorce from Jennifer Aniston and his ongoing divorce drama with Angelina Jolie, the 59-year-old actor has lived out his share of relationship woes for the press. But Pitt's past experience with high-profile heartbreak may have helped him relate to his new love interest. Since De Ramon separated from her ex-husband in 2022, a source told Us Weekly that Pitt has been a rock for De Ramon during the process. Um, we've all experienced loss. Um, we've all um, experienced great loneliness at times. Fortunately, it appears that De Ramon and Paul Wesley's divorce has been amicable so far. And although Pitt's highly publicized splits were much more complex than De Ramon's appears to be, sources say that the pair have bonded over their shared histories. According to a source for the Daily Mail, whatever opinions Angelina Jolie or Paul Wesley might have about Pitt's new fling mean nothing to him. In fact, the star reportedly, quote, doesn't give a damn what they think of his new relationship. Pitt and Jolie initially filed for divorce in 2016, with the end finally becoming official in 2019. But although the two have parted ways romantically, they are still in the midst of grueling legal battles regarding the separation of their assets and the custody of their children. After battling with the stress and hardship of this complicated divorce, the insider shared that Brad wants Angelina to know that he's happy with someone else. The source also claimed that Pitt isn't concerned with Wesley's opinion either, but considering that Wesley has reportedly moved on as well with model Natalie Kuckenberg, it's possible that he's living his best life regardless of what Pitt thinks too. According to Us Weekly, De Ramon and Wesley both filed their divorce paperwork on February 17, 2023, calling it quits on their four-year marriage due to irreconcilable differences. But their split actually happened long before that, with a rep telling E! News in September 2022 that the couple had mutually separated five months earlier, sometime around April of that year. Although De Ramon was not legally divorced yet, by the time she was first spotted with Pitt in late 2022, she had already been unattached for an estimated eight months. This happens to be the same amount of time it took Wesley to find a new love interest. Page Six spotted him with Kuckenberg on the Amalfi Coast during the same time period, so although their marriage hadn't been legally severed yet, the exes appear to have been on the same page regarding moving on. Celebrity couples with considerable age gaps may be a timeless cliché, but it's a cliché that still makes for good headlines. As an example, Leonardo DiCaprio has received backlash for his history of dating notably younger women, and while the 59-year-old Pitt and 32-year-old De Ramon haven't gotten that kind of scrutiny, a few eyebrows were definitely raised. Like an old guy that swears all the time. <laughs> But an insider told Us Weekly that the pair aren't worried at all. The source explained that their relationship is comfortable and playful, and Pitt is reported to have more energy than ever. For the record, we're not saying that being on the cusp of his 60s automatically makes him old, but maybe that sizzling career helps keep him feeling young. Bono and the Edge. <laughs> Rumours began flying about Brad and Inez after they were spotted at a Bono concert on November 13th, 2022. They were snapped outside the Orpheum Theatre in Los Angeles, chatting with other legendary stars like Cindy Crawford and Sean Penn. 
The cosy couple looked cool and casual for the event, and although it appears Inez was being introduced to some of Brad's A-list buddies for the first time, video from the evening shows that the jewellery exec seemed accustomed to engaging with high-profile celebs. Pitt's newest film, Babylon, premiered at the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures in Los Angeles on December 15th, 2022, and while the star walked the red carpet solo, he attended the after-party with Inez, marking their second official public outing together. Sources told People that the couple was casually flirty, and it seemed that the duo were beginning to get serious. Wow. Wow, we're doing this? We're really doing it. While the pair wasn't photographed together that evening, celebrity makeup artist Katie Danza posted photos of De Ramon's look to her Instagram. She went full glam for the occasion and looked striking in a floor-length, curve-hugging gown. The Anita Co. VP completed the look with diamonds, of course, because if there's one thing we can bank on from Inez, it's coordinating the perfect sparkly accessories for her look. On December 18, 2022, Brad and Inez were spotted exiting the iconic Los Angeles eatery Pache after dinner with friends. Since Pitt's birthday is on December 18, page six concluded that the gathering must have been for Brad's 59th. But it just so happens that Inez also has her own birthday on December 19, so maybe this was a celebration for both of them. The not yet official couple was pictured smiling ear to ear as they left the restaurant bundled up in coats and jackets and getting cozy while waiting for their cars on a chilly SoCal evening. Nothing signals a relationship becoming serious like international travel, especially for the holidays. Rather than attending a stuffy old party on New Year's Eve, the pair rang in 2023 with a poolside lounge sesh in Cabo San Lucas, according to page six. The warm weather getaway occurred less than two months after the couple was first sighted together. The pair appears to be all about focusing on each other and their blossoming romance, and less about getting noisemakers blown into their faces by other people's kids. The duo seemed to be very comfortable sunbathing side by side, and at one point, De Ramon even ditched her bikini top completely, wearing only a sarong and sunglasses. Brad showed off his fit physique and his tattoos while reading what appeared to possibly be a screenplay. By all accounts, it looked like another perfect day in paradise for this pair. Although Brad couldn't be with Inez in person for Valentine's Day, he still made sure to let her know he was thinking of her. A source confirmed to People that when De Ramon was photographed with a large bouquet of pink peonies, they were, in fact, from Pitt. De Ramon was all smiles as she was seen holding the arrangement while also carrying a fresh baguette under her arm. While we're sure Pitt would have loved to gift the flowers in person, he was busy on set shooting his movie Wolves in New York. Pictured on the streets of Chinatown with co-star and longtime pal George Clooney, Pitt appeared to be enjoying some camera time with his old friend. Can you believe them all wanted me to throw this away? <laughs> not throwing this out. The thriller, which is also being co-produced by both Pitt and Clooney, is set to premiere as an Apple TV original. On their second reported jet-setting trip together, Brad and Inez were spotted at Fouquet's in Paris for a star-studded gala. On the evening of February 24th, 2023, the new couple were both dressed to the nines as they mingled with other guests and flirted at their table. But Pitt was in Paris that night for business purposes. He was attending the César Awards, where he presented famed director David Fincher with an honorary prize. Pitt and Fincher have worked together since the 90s, creating the hits Seven, Fight Club, and The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. So it makes sense that Pitt was the one to celebrate his friend and collaborator. While Inez has no children of her own, Brad is the proud papa to six kids with Angelina Jolie. The exes have been in the throes of a messy custody battle over their children Maddox, Zahara, Shiloh, Pax, Knox and Vivian since they filed for divorce in 2016. And in the midst of those legal issues, you could imagine that introducing a new partner to the kids isn't something that any parent would take lightly, especially parents backed by ruthless legal teams. At this point, it's unclear if De Ramon has met the Jolie Pitt bunch yet. According to a source that spoke with the Daily Mail, De Ramon had already met most of Pitt's kids as of February 20th, 2023. But Entertainment Tonight reported six days later that Inez had not met Brad's kids at all and that she had only been present while he was on the phone to them. In any case, these two appear to be getting pretty serious and we wouldn't be surprised if family introductions are on the horizon soon.